not even a leopard person, <laughs> but I love that coat. What's up? It's Monica and welcome back to my channel. Okay, this video, of course you kind of get an idea what it's about from the thumbnail, but it's all about coats. <laughs> um, it's so funny because I've never considered myself to be a coat person. However, I looked at all the new coats that I had and then I looked at my coat closet, which is filled to the brim. Like, it's not even a coat, like, it's the main floor closet that I took over with coats and I just I guess I'm a coat person so this video is really about new in coats so kind of sharing with you guys some of the new coats that I picked up for this season some were gifted to me by the brand some I purchased um, and then also some of the coats from last year that I will be rocking all season long so kind of like a reminder to shop your closets um, and you don't always have to just go out and get the new thing. And then I'm also going to share about five that I'm coveting. So this is a really good video. I was, first of all, going to kind of go over the coat trends and how to pick the right coats and all that good stuff. But I kind of did that last year. And, I find, and I'm finding that a lot of the coat trends this year are pretty much identical to what, you know, was on trend last year. So I'm going to insert the thumbnail of last year's coat video make sure you check it out guys if you if you're not sure of how to pick the perfect coat for your body type or what to look for and all that good stuff make sure you watch that video it is extremely informative when it comes to picking the right coat um and all of that good stuff and fabrics fit all of that so check out that video it's a good one so this one is almost going to kind of be like a little show and tell what's on trend what's fun what i picked up how I want to, you know, how I plan to um, style it and just sharing some of the older coats that are still pretty much relevant right now and that I will rock the season. So that sounds like a vibe to you if you love coats. Uh, make sure you watch the video. It's not even that cold in Atlanta, to be honest. It gets cold, but as a Canadian, it's not really that cold. But I'll take it anytime, any day. So yeah, I have coats on standby. I think I need to like sell or donate or something with these coats because I got too many of them. Anywho, before we jump in, Guys, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Don't miss a video. Six videos every month. They're good. They're spontaneous. They're usually I post on Saturdays. No, not Saturdays. What am I saying? I post on Fridays, Wednesdays, and Sundays. Sundays is kind of like a bonus day, but in order for you not to miss a video, you have to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss anything. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. It's odd by Moni. Tons of style inspo in between all of these videos and all that good stuff. You get to see how I style some of the coats that were gifted to me and all of that. And as well as TikTok, I'm finding, I'm, I've, I'm beginning to find my rhythm on TikTok and I'm having a good time. So I want you guys to follow so you don't miss anything. Make sure you follow. Let's get into, actually, let's get into my outfit real quick. <laughs> I just got this sweater in from a brand called Blanca. Um, it's an Australian brand and they sent me their line sheets and they were like, yeah, pick what you want. Funny enough, they didn't send everything I wanted because I did have a coat on that list. It was, I was going to get the coat, but then I ended up getting some of the other coats that I'm going to share with you. And then the, like literally right after that, the brand emailed me and they were like, yeah, you know, pick whatever. So I was hoping that I would get the coat. Um, I'll insert a picture of the coat so you can see it's so pretty. But they sent this beautiful sweater and another shirt. This sweater is everything. It's definitely giving me Kate vibes. Um, I know the brand is based in Australia. It is available on Saks. Of course, I will link it. So if you are feeling this color, if you are feeling this cut, if you don't want to pay the Kate um, price point, but still want something fabulous and thick, this is so thick. Check it out. And then under that, I'm wearing this beautiful cashmere from Talbots. I recently did a fun little Talbots collaboration and I picked the sweater and I love it. I love cashmere. You guys know. If you've been rocking with me, you know I'm obsessed with cashmere. My earrings are Judith Ripka, Ring Judith Ripka, Lagos, Cartier. 
all that fun stuff. And then my pants are my trusty cost pants. I wear them all the time. And then my booties are Balenciaga. So that's what I'm wearing. Now let's get into this coat video. Okay, so the first coat, I had to take off my beautiful sweater so I can try these coats on for you guys. I won't lie, this is my first time trying on this particular coat. Um, this was gifted to me by Madewell. I am working with them, but on Instagram, like I said, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me. But I picked out this coat only because I don't have beautiful caramel, like, you know, windbreaker type, like lightweight, especially because it doesn't get super cold in Atlanta. It still gets cold, but it doesn't get super cold. So I wanted something that I could just kind of throw on, was easy to pack, has pockets I love it like it's so it looks so good with the turtleneck Ugh. is it not fabulous I love it it feels amazing I have to take it I can't keep it on too um, long because it is somewhat on the warmer side but it's just a beautiful lightweight throw-on jacket it's still very stylish you've got a little bit of a puff in the sleeve and then you've got the cuff which I love it just adds a little bit more interest you've got the slip pocket so easy to wear especially if you're walking around the neighborhood or you're going for, you know for a dog walk or whatnot so this is a fun casual cool jacket I find that I like to do this a lot when I'm wearing jackets like this that are somewhat lightweight just to roll up the sleeves almost give it like an indoor vibe because I can wear this like a blaze oh yeah that looks good too I can definitely wear this as a blazer pop the collar a little bit I love to pop the collar I think it's old school but I love it I think it's just so chic but then you have this you know what was very casual cool and we've now kind of elevated it a little bit made it a little bit more interesting roll up the sleeves there to show off the arm candy I love it this is a good one this is a good one I love it yeah okay on to the next so this next coat I recently picked up. This is actually on the thumbnail, so you guys would have noticed this beautiful coat. I got it from Saks. I think it was when they were having like their friends and family, so I got a little bit of a discount. Made me feel good about it. <gasps> it's stunning. Oh, it's from Sandro. I love the brand. I have this uh, outfit from them that I absolutely adore. Let me step back so you guys can see this. I feel like I'm losing light. One moment while I fix the situation much better okay so this is more of a midi length coat I wanted a full length in this but I figured you know what this is just perfect so we've got the pockets with a flap over it you've got the Sandro writing on the buttons you've got the nice thick lapel just with one button actually no it's it's a double breast but it's kind of like the um just one single line for the double breast so it's really it's cute it's it's really pretty there's something about it that i really love and i feel like the fact that there are um there's writing rather on the buttons it makes it a bit more casual which i like that i didn't want anything too you know uppity or stiff not with this coat, especially because it's an ivory coat, and I feel like ivory coats are just very classic to begin with. So this one's a really fun one. Um, I'm gonna share another one that I got from Zara, but this one is still, it's a little, it's on the pricey side. It's, its I think if I'm correct, it was like $7.90. Of course, I'll have the, the prices and everything um, down for you guys, but it's just a really great coat. It's very well made. The fabric is amazing. Um, it almost has like a tweed. There's another name for this fabric, and I can't, it's not coming to me. But it's just really beautiful and it's raised to almost like a jacquard finish so it'll mask dirt a little bit better than just a plain ivory coat. So this is really fun. I like it and it, I love it rather actually. Not even like I, I do love this. And it has a pocket on the inside too which I love. This is a good coat. And you look like a million bucks when you put it on. That's the thing. I think that's what it is. For me, it's just I want pieces that will live in my closet for a long time. But I also want pieces that I can play around with. And I can just, you know, it'll look good with whatever I put it with. So this is fabulous. You guys see how well it looks with the black, especially the black turtleneck. I intentionally wore a black turtleneck with this because I feel like turtlenecks look great with every coat. So keep that in mind. But yes, we love, we love, we love. So chic. On to the next. Okay, so this coat I picked up from Zara. This is also my first time um, trying this one on. This one was $2.99, and I got a size small. Let's see if I'm going to love it. I feel like I do have a coat in this color, um, but I kind of, 
I feel like I've been on this hunt for just, you know, very clean, classic, straight coats. Um, and this one, oh, this one's really nice. You know how Zara has that, um, they do these like, ex I don't know if it's exclusive, but they've got those more expensive, you know, capsule collections that they do. And I got this coat and the other one I'm going to share with you guys from that collection. I actually really like this. You know, you've got like that little pocket for the pocket square. It's a full pocket. Yeah, it's a, f mm. yeah, it's a full pocket. Um, let's see what else. Oh, single breasted, but you do have the button holes are covered so when you close it you don't see the buttons which is also really cool you have the flap covering the pockets are they full pockets hmm. no they're real pockets <laughs> I had to test that they're real pockets but it's really nice eh? I, I kind of really like this in the color hmm I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it or not but now that I have it on what do you guys think should we keep this one? It's really nice. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, wow. I really kind of like it. I don't know. I think I might have to keep this. But, you know, when you see the ones from last year that I really like, that I really want to, you know, wear more this year, um, I have something similar, but it's a totally different fabric. Guys, it's beautiful. Okay, Zara. All right. I really like it. It looks good. It feels good, too. And the small is perfect. I am a nor um, always a small, so this is my true size. So, I don't know. I love it. I actually really love it. So, let's keep on going because we've got a few more. All right, I've got another one from Zara. So this one's kind of like, it's a wool blend, if I'm correct. It was definitely pricey, because I think it was right under $500. Um, let's see. Do we have a price? I don't know. There's no price or tag on it. But it's beautiful. It is from their Autumn Winter 2020 Collection 12. Uh, it, it feels like it's a wool cashmere blend. No, it's 100% wool. I take that back. It is 100% wool. It feels great. It's very lightweight, but I feel like because I have the Sandra coat, which I've worn out and I love, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. Oh, but it looks good. Oh, yay, yay. Look at that. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh snap. This one's really nice. You've got the little belt at the back too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks good, guys. Like, this is fabulous. Let me know if anyone picked up any of these coats from Zara. Like, these are nice. I feel like when Zara has a higher price point, you know that the quality is really good. Like, this is really, really good. This definitely is nothing fast fashion. Like, this is very well made. It looks like uh, Michael, not Michael by Michael Kors, but Michael Kors coat. I, and I sold a, quite a number of them and I couldn't like, the only difference is that the Michael Kors options are in the, like the 2000s. So this is really nice. On to the next one. <laughs> okay, so this next coat I picked up from Saks when I picked up the Sandra coat. It's Sin Cynthia Roca. I, I can't remember. I used to sell these coats like 20 years ago. Like, I always wanted one, like always wanted one between this and the Max Mara and I am getting, ended up getting this one. It's definitely a lot more affordable. It's still expensive, but it's definitely not Max Mara prices. Um, and these coats, I can tell you, they're iconic. Like the, on the inside of the label, it says iconic. Like this coat, this silhouette is just everything. So I always, always wanted a wool, single breasted or double breasted full length like a maxi coat and I found this one and I'm so happy because <laughs> it's so good I've worn it a few times it's stunning guys like oh. it just screams money like it just screams I'm expensive I'm important I have this fabulous coat on 
I know clothing shouldn't say that, but this coat is everything. And I wore it in the Toronto vlog. If you guys have not seen my Toronto vlog, make sure you watch it because it's really, it's really good. I had, we had a blast. The photo shoots, the family, the wedding, all of that good stuff. But uh, it feels like butter. Like, uh, got the top stitch with the black on black, the buttons. It's a, it's a fabulous coat. If you, you know, I, I've seen some other options. Like, I've seen Celine, and um, I, I think Balenciaga had one, too, kind of in the full length. But I actually found it very hard to find a full-length wool coat that was not outrageously priced. So this one is still over $1,000, but I feel like a coat like this, I'm not going to buy another one. I have no, like, there's just no need, unless somebody gives me one. And even if they give me one, it has to be nicer than this. Otherwise, they could take it back because I ain't got nowhere to put it. But if you want a really good classic coat that will last you a lot, pretty much a lifetime, this is a good one. And I can say that as someone that ha has sold many of these coats back in the day and now has a client buying it for herself, it's a great purchase. This is, I'm very happy with this one. <laughs> On to the next. Okay, so this next coat, this is almost like a sweater coat knit. I picked this up from White House Black Market. I am partnering with White House Black Market on Instagram. Like I said, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because we got a lot of fun stuff going on on Instagram. But I picked this one. Obviously, the brands always let me pick what I love, and I love that. Actually, I don't work with anyone who doesn't let me pick what I want. But oh, this one is fun because it's thick it's kind of like has that furry like finish but you also have like the silver threading running through Ooh. oh this is nice this is also my first time trying it on wearing it so I'm kind of discovering a lot of this stuff with you guys I love this shawl collar that feels really good especially if it's cold you can just use it to kind of frame the body and if it's super cold you can throw the bigger coat over this because this is nice and fitted through the arm but it has stretch let me step back so you guys can see this. And then you've got the belt. You can see the mirror at the back of it as well in there. This is really nice. So one side of the belt has a lining, like a, um, a silk lining. Not silk, but a ribbon lining, rather. Let's step back. No buttons. We've got pockets, so that's good. Ooh, I love this detail. It's got the metal finish on the hem of the, the belt so that's also really nice and then you have pockets oh the pockets have a snap finish this is really cool I don't know if you guys can see that but it has a snap closure um, oh it also has this I feel like I'm discovering this with you guys it has a silver button for the closure for the snap so pretty oh wow oh I like this a lot oh, I put it take the lights back this is a love <laughs> oh it's so pretty you know I feel like a lot of times we order things and you never really know I tend to visualize things but you know I, I I've come to the conclusion not everyone visualizes how things are gonna work and if they work that way but I kind of had a feeling this would be a good one but definitely surpassed my expectations this is in gorgeous gorgeous sweater coat I'm obsessed and this I will be able to wear a lot in Atlanta because it's very warm um, and when I go to colder climates, I can still layer it. So this is a fabulous piece. And it just looks so chic and fabulous, darling. I love it. Ooh. On to the next. All right. So the last coat that I picked up, but not the least. Well, last for now. Might just be the last for the season because I really don't have anywhere to put any more coats. But this coat is from Express. I'm actually, ooh, I think, yes, the Express video would have gone live. So you guys would have seen this already. Yeah, this is a good one. So I wasn't sure about this for only one reason, because I have a Zara coat that's similar color-wise, but the cut is definitely very different. This is stunning. Ooh. It's a, Express makes some good coats, and they're not terribly expensive. Like, this was like, if I'm correct, it's two-something. This is nice. Look at that. It's kind of giving me Balenciaga. It has the hourglass thing going on. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. 
I really love this. And if I'm correct, it comes into like three other colors. It comes in ivory. I actually really wanted the ivory, but I figured, you know, I knew that I was getting the Zara and the ivory and I got the Sandro coat already. So I was just like, oh, let's do the green. And I also, I asked my sister, I'm like, which color? And she's like, oh, definitely the green. So very happy with this. This is gorgeous. I just love the way the lapels and the buttons. It's definitely giving me military. It's giving me, it could be, um, what's it called? Burberry. Burberry did a coat like this many, many, many years ago. Like literally, like almost like exact. It's funny, I forget a lot of things, but I don't forget fashion. Um, but yeah, this is stunning. Oh. And we have the pockets. They're not a slant pocket or a slip pocket, but you know, you have the flap. Very, very beautiful. I love this. It's so chic and elevated. Mm. Do we not love? See, this is why I love my job. I love playing dress up. This gives me so much joy. I couldn't tell you all the places that I'm gonna go wearing all these coats, but I feel like I have to find excuses just to wear this stuff because this is just, oh, stunning. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna share five coats that I will make sure I wear from last year. And then I'll share the ones that I'm coveting. Okay, so if you guys have been rocking with me, then you probably remember this coat. This is another coat from Express. Got it last year. It's so fun. It's black and white. I love a good black and white moment, hence the nails. We're doing black and white. Um, I just love this coat. So I'm very much looking forward to wearing it. It's really cute, very simple. You've got the belt detail. I think I did the belt to the back the last time I wore it. It's nice and long. You've got the snap closure. You can wear it open or you can just belt it and it's just really fun. Um, yeah, we like this, we love it. Love the lapel, really fun. <laughs> On to the next. Okay, so this one was gifted to me um, from the brand for the Nordstrom, I think the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I think this was from last year. I, I didn't say the name out loud because I, <laughs> it's French. I, yeah, I'm not even going to try. But I don't think I wore this once. If you guys remember, I'm, I'm sure I've styled it different ways in hauls, but I, I don't think I wore it outside the house. And it's faux leather. It kind of mimics, well, I, in my head I thought it mimicked the Zara one, but no, definitely totally different vibes. I really like this. I just, I want to wear it. I just, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep this one or should I give it away? It's really cool, it's love. I know if my sister sees it, she'll say give it away so I can give it to her. But I really like it, I just haven't worn it. And I love the length, I love the belt detail. It's just really pretty and it's very clean, it's very sleek, slick, sleek rather, not slick. Y'all let me know, I don't know. I really love it, don't get me wrong, I love it. I just feel like with all the other ones and considering we haven't had like fall or coat weather yet, I feel like I'm not going to utilize a lot of these coats, so. But this is a great one. I love it. Hopefully, you know, I'll find places to wear it, so. But let me know what you guys think. Okay, this one. Oh, this one I love. And because of the color, I got this one, I think, towards the end of the season last year from Banana Republic. So I got it on sale. But it was the color for me. It was just the fit, everything. I know I've shared this coat in, like, a haul. I didn't share it in my coat video because I didn't have it yet, but... It's gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? I know I shared it with you guys because it was on a major sale. I feel like that, okay, this, the pink is, it comes across better when I'm closer, but when I step back, I'm finding that the pink is not as obvious. But it's absolutely stunning from Banana Republic. The fabric is amazing. This shade of pink is very much on trend right now. Valentino has made it a must-have. So I'm happy I have this. No temptation to go and buy or whatever. In my coveting list, I saw the Valentino version of this, longer, beautiful. But I saw the price tag and I was like, thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to stick with my Banana Republic. I wouldn't say cheap and cheerful, but definitely affordable. On to the next. Okay, so next up we've got my Isabel Marant jacket. I love this one. I feel like when I pay a lot of money for stuff, I force myself to wear them <laughs> a little bit more than other things, but this is just a great jacket. You just throw it on and it's just so fun. Um, I've dressed it up by belting it and I've just worn it like just like this, just throwing it on. 
It's a great jacket. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna wear this one. I love it. I don't think she, I don't think the brand has this exact coat, but I've seen it in other colorways and I've seen it more like a shacket. So I feel like this is kind of like the updated version of the shacket. You guys remember when shackets were everything? I still got some of my shackets and I'm wearing them, but I love this. This one I will definitely wear. And honestly, green is a lot more versatile than you think. I know a lot of times people see green and they're like, oh, but it's a green jacket, it can only wear it. No, green looks good with everything. Just think about leaves, flowers, whatever. They go with every color. So this is a great one. And it's very chic, even though it's a very casual coat in my head when I see it. But look at the way it looks with just your classic turtleneck and your dress pants. Like, it just elevates. It just, everything works. I love it. All right, we got one more. So I wore this so much, so I know you guys remember this. This is my Macage jacket. It is a fabulous jacket. If you're not familiar with the brand Macage, it is a Canadian brand. I love this jacket. I remember the first time I wore it on Instagram. Like, friends, everybody was messaging me, I want that coat, where'd you get the coat from? Like, I liked it when I bought it, but I didn't think people would react to it that much. Like, it literally sold out, but then I think they reintroduced the, the jacket again this year but not only is it in black i think it was in black white and red but now it's in brown like i found it in brown but oh this jacket it's just so good like even though it's a puffer and it's casual but it looks so good on it fits so well i got a medium so you definitely want to go up a size and the medium is perfect it's nice and firm on the sleeves it's fitted, then it flares out. It's got the belt, it's got the hood. The hood is not removable, but oh, it's just everything. I love, and it's so warm. I wore this coat when I was in Finland, when I went to Vermont. Like it's just that that coat that keeps. I've got my cost per wear and some. Let's just put it that way. So, it's not terribly cheap. It's not terribly expensive in comparison to when I share my coveting coats. Yeah, <laughs> but I love, I love this jacket. If it wasn't so hot inside, I would wear it for the rest of the video, but it's too hot. So I'm gonna take it off, but I love it. Now let's share the coats I am coveting. All right, guys, so there's five coats that I found that I'm absolutely obsessed with, but considering everything looks so good, I highly doubt I'm going to pick up any of these coats, but I figured let me share just in case anyone wants to pick up something new and fabulous. Um, maybe you might love these options. They are very pricey, all of them. I'm looking at the prices again, but they're so good. I would really have to take a lot of coats out of my wardrobe to justify adding any of these, but I figure I'll share. We're girlfriends, we're friends, we're kikiing, we're having fun with coats. I'm going to share them. So first up is this Max Mara iconic double-breasted wool and cashmere coat. Funny enough, considering how expensive Max Mara is, why are they a wool cashmere blend? They should be all cashmere. But anywho, we'll leave that to another, another day, another conversation. But yes, this particular coat is stunning. I've always wanted a Max Mara coat, but I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of things I can justify, but I just feel like I don't necessarily have to spend that much to have a fabulous coat that looks something like that. But, you know, I don't know whether if it's just because it's Max Mara. I think it's because it's Max Mara. But it's really, really beautiful. Um, one of these days I'll get one. Maybe if it's on sale or if I find a discount code or if the brand sends one to me. But yes, I love this coat. I've always coveted Max Mara coats. I think I've mentioned this many times. But yeah, like I said, eventually I'll get one. I'm in no hurry to <laughs> until I get my situation together with all these extra coats but yeah I'm definitely coveting that one all right so another one the Balenciaga double breasted leopard print hourglass coat absolutely stunning I've always wanted one of these hourglass coats um but this leopard one oh let me know if any of you have this coat or if anyone's picking this one up or coveting the coat as well because it's fabulous it's stunning like it looks so and I'm not even a leopard person, <laughs> but I love that coat. All right, on to the next. Okay, you guys know I love color. So when I saw this um, Christopher John Rogers coat, I thought it was 
so much fun. It's so cute. Very true to the brand. I love all the colors. It is PVC. Um, it's just a classic trench. I love the length. I love everything about it. I love having items that are colorful because that means I can wear it with everything. And I feel like that's really the best way to get your cost per wear if there's multiple colors in one item because you can literally wear it with everything. So this was a beautiful one. This is probably, you know, a more reasonable price point and I just think it's fabulous. I love it. What do you guys think? Do you guys love it? Um, I don't think it'll be warm or anything. It doesn't look like a warm coat, but it's definitely a very stylish trench, trench coat. And I'm just like, why not, right? <laughs> On to the next. All right, next up, we've got this beautiful Isabel Morant coat. I just, I, there's something about this silhouette that I just think is just stunning. It has this masculine appeal to it, but yet it, there's also a feminine touch to it. I just, I love everything about it. I think it's the lapel that really drew me in. And I think this would be a fabulous coat. This is actually a lot more reasonable price point in terms, in comparison to the other ones. And I feel like it would be such a classic. I'm looking at it. That's why I'm looking at my screen. Um, I feel like it would be a good addition to my wardrobe. I, I did have a gray coat, um, but I did give it away. So I'm like, hmm, maybe, maybe. I feel like this one's more feasible than everything else I picked up. Okay, last but not least, a Prada puffer. I've always wanted one. I've never, you know, splurged. And now I feel like the prices are so outrageous that I'm just like, really, do I really want to spend four or $5,000 on a puffer? Especially when the macage is like $1,200, $1,300, I think it is, or even 1000 I can't remember. So I'm just like, do I want to spend the money? Um, I don't know. I love Prada. And don't get me wrong, Prada quality in terms of its coats, its puffers, the nylon in general, amazing. Very, very well made. Um, those are coats that I sold for a very long time. And, you know, if you want a great coat, I would say absolutely. I just don't know if I want to spend the money. It's funny because, you know, I feel like when you've, when you've sold things, especially when you've seen the evolution of a price on an item, you're always a little hesitant to spend that much knowing that maybe I could have gotten it, you know, a lot less back in the day obviously I had a lot less money but I still would have gotten it like 50% off so it's just one of those things where I just go back and forth in my head like do I do I not do I need it you know is it cold enough for me to spend that much money no no and no so it's one of those things that I guess I'll just covet it from afar you know or maybe one of these days I might just decide to switch who knows you never when it comes to fashion you never know with me but yes those are the coats that I'm coveting <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. Those are my new in coats for fall, winter 2022. And the coats from last year that I will wear all season long, as well as the coats that I'm coveting. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about my new ones, the old ones, the ones that I'm coveting. Are you guys coveting them too? Let me know if there's any coats in particular that you really want to add to your wish list. Don't forget to check out my last year's coat video. I will link it in the description box because it is one you have to watch, especially if you're not sure what coat fits you best. Um, of course, shopping links to everything will be in the description box. So if you feel like, you know, picking up some of these coats, this fabulous outfit, or some of the things I'm coveting, everything will be there. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. You guys know I appreciate it so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me. It's Odd by Moni on Instagram as well as TikTok. Tons of style inspo in between these videos on YouTube. Also, don't forget to check out my YouTube shorts because I try to upload some of, you know, not, and I, 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 not everything, but I do upload some of my shorts from TikTok or um, Instagram here on YouTube as well. So check out the shorts. Um, also check out my website, oddbymonica.com for tons of style inspiration. Make sure you check out the What Would Moni Wear page and the holiday shop page. It is live. We're in the holiday season, so my holiday shop page is live. I have have gifts at every price point um i have dresses for the holidays i have home day there's pretty much everything so check out oddbymonica.com it is a great website it's a great resource for pretty much all things fashion home beauty name it it's there so check it out um thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for liking and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys